One of the trees that we have in the South Park complex that is a tree that we've maintained for many years is the Zilkova, the Zilkova serrata, Japanese Zilkova. It's a beautiful tree, but I'm noticing that we have a problem in at least one of these trees. This individual is starting to die back. You can see foliage over on the left side, but there's many branches that are completely dried out. And I look at the uh, inside of the structure and look up, you can see an awful lot of blue sky up there and that tree should be fully leafed out right now. So when I look at the trunk a little bit closer, I'm trying to see what's going on. Now this branch right here, this one is completely dead. I can see some little cracks developing in here. I'm guessing that we have some sort of a, a trunk canker going on, but it's not very evident. It's uh, This is a real tough one to figure out. I'm looking for any evidence on the, the trunk and the bark, anywhere on the trees that's going to give me a clue as to what's causing this tree to go into decline. When I drove by, my first thought was that looks looks like squirrel damage because squirrels are known to, to chew on branches. As a matter of fact, there's a good example right there of some squirrel-chewed branches. We have one area where the branches are very, very heavy. They're sagging down into this pear tree over here. This whole mass up here is much, much heavier than it should be. Uh, it's kind of an interesting situation going on. I think we're going to lose this tree slowly, branch by branch. Uh, but the sad thing is, is when we get to the point where we have to take out some of these large dead limbs, it's going to leave the rest of the tree so unbalanced and so unsightly that you're going to want to remove the whole thing. And if you look down the road, you can see you have a number of these trees. I'm going to take a quick walk and see if I can see the same problem in some of the other uh, Zelkovas on this road. Okay, we have another example, not quite as bad, but there are a few dead branches over here and there's some drying out on this one and from this upper portion up here you can see that the whole upper canopy has completely dried out so we've got the first signs of this tree declining and as I go further along I can see some trees are fairly thick but they have some individual dead branches in there and this particular Zelkova over here does not appear to be leafing out the same as the others so I think we have uh, we have some kind of a new problem that I've never seen before and I'm going to look into it see if we can figure out what it is. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of dieback in this tree. It's kind of interesting because this particular individual is um, leafing out later than some of the other ones and it will get fuller but I do see a lot of drying out in this tree so uh, way up there there's a branch that's totally dead. The tips are dying up out over here. I don't think this one's a goner yet. I do see squirrel damage as well. Way up high, there's some squirrel damage. There's some drying out of the bark. Um, I think we've got something pretty serious going on with the Zelkova trees. Now I can see right here where there was some kind of an injection put in the tree. Um, for what reason, I don't know. And I can see some areas where we've got some discoloration on the bark here. There's injections all the way around. Um, I believe a few years ago uh, the landscapers injected some of the hackberries but the Zelkovas did not need it. Um, I'm believing we've got some kind of a trunk canker and it's showing itself through the whole tree. There's so many different uh, canker problems and trunk canker problems to diagnose it just by sight is really really difficult. And to add insult to injury to a problem that we've known we've had for a long time, your tulip trees are suffering from tulip scale, and I can see scale up there right now. And they do cause entire branches to die back. And almost all of your tulip trees are in pretty rough shape throughout the whole complex. And your Monterey pines are still an ongoing problem. One by one, you're gonna end up losing every one of them in the complex. Hate to be negative, but it's a 
It's a common problem throughout this valley. There's a number of insects and then there's the pitch canker disease that's being spread by the insects. So I can see so much deadwood up there. I'm, I'm guessing the Ips pine beetle has moved into the upper canopy and uh, it's only a matter of time. Sometimes these trees will linger for years and years and years, but uh, you've got all the, the signs and all the symptoms of decline. So you can expect that many of your pines are going to be uh, unfortunately an added expense.